In this video, we're going to go over how to use Dendroica, which is a resource that you can use to help improve your bird identification skills. We'll start by going to the Atlas website, which is birdsontario.org, and under Tools and Resources, we'll click on Learning Resources. And here, the first option is Nature Instruct Dendroica, so we'll click on that. And it will take us to the Dendroica website, we can also go to the Nature Instruct website, which is natureinstruct.org, and click on Dendroica from there, and it'll take you to the same place. From here, I'll click on Canada. Dendroica will automatically start playing the song or call of whatever species it has chosen. I'm just going to pause it. And then I'm going to turn off autoplay for the sake of this video. Starting from the top, we have the Manage Lists button. This is where you'll be able to refine the list of species that you can choose from, which is shown on the right here. So on the right, this is the list of species that you can select that will appear in the frame. You can double click on a species and it will pull it up. You can also click on it and press Select or you can choose random species. You can also filter the species here. So if I type in barn swallow and filter the species, then the barn swallow will show up. In the center frame, we have the photo and sound or song information. So it starts with the photo and you can press next or previous to navigate through the photos. Each photo also has the photo information, who took the photo, when and where it was taken, as well as more information about the species. So this is an adult. You can also scroll through the photos by clicking on these numbers at the bottom. If you hover over the numbers, it will also give you the photo information. So this one is an adult, and this photo number 15 is a nest. So if you're interested in just jumping right to that, then you can click on it, and it will jump to the photo of the nest. Below the photo information is the song or sound information. It has information on who recorded the sound, when and where, as well as what type of sound it is. So this first sound is an adult primary sound. You can scroll through the sounds the same way that you can scroll through the photos, so by pressing the Next and Previous buttons, or by hovering over the sounds and choosing the one that you want to hear. Below the photo and sound information, there's information on the range maps, so you can select one and the photo will be replaced by the range map. And even further down on the page, there's the option to view the spectrograms. If you select this, then you can see the spectrogram of the sound that you have currently selected. So I'm on sound number two, and this is the spectrogram for that sound. These spectrograms are useful for species that have distinct songs. So I'll show you the spectrogram for this American robin. Now that we have the general idea of the interface of Dendroica, we can go ahead and manage our list. Here is where you can filter out the species list that we saw on the right hand side. I'm going to leave the checklist authority that's on the project alone. It automatically excludes rare species and species that are not breeding in the region. I'm going to leave it that way just to start. I'm going to change the geopolitical to Ontario, and you can change the BCR. BCRs are the bird conservation regions. If you're not sure uh, what a BCR is or which BCR you might be in, you can navigate back to this learning resources page. And it says to see a map of BCRs, click here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm here in BCR 13 in Ontario, so I'm going to go ahead and select that BCR.
You can also narrow the list down even more by song type, taxonomically, or by nesting habitat. So I'm going to change this one to mixed woodlands. I'm going to leave the song type and the taxonomy alone. This last one, load custom list, is currently grayed out. You can create a custom list of species if you create a login for Dendroica, which I'm not currently logged in. So I'll press save and exit. Now my number of species is 70. You can see here at the top next to manage lists what my filters are. So I'm looking only in Ontario, ECR 13, mixed woodland species, and I'm excluding rare species and non-breeding species. To change this back from the spectrogram to the photos, I can press view photos. And now I can go through the species in my filtered list. Once I'm feeling confident with the species in this list, I can go ahead and quiz myself on them by pressing this quiz button in the top right. This quiz is only going to test me on the birds that I have in my list right now. So I'm going to proceed to the quiz. Once you're on the quiz page, you can opt to do your quiz based on the sound, based on the photo, or based on both. So you just check or uncheck whichever you'd like. So now I have the option to play the sound and show the photo. Remember, I do have autoplay off for the sake of this video, but typically this would automatically play the sound of the species that you're trying to identify. You can also choose to display the sound and photo list if the one sound and one photo is not enough for you to be able to identify the species properly. Now that I've checked it off, I have access to all of the photos, all of the sounds for the species, as well as the range maps. To make the quiz easier or harder for yourself, you can change the number of choices that you have to select from in terms of identifying the species. Right now we're looking at 18 species to choose from, which is intermediate. You can also change it to basic, which would be six species if you're not feeling very confident in your identification. You can also change it to all the species. And so I've already filtered my list to about 70 species, which means that if you select all species, it will be all of the species in your current filtered list. So I'll update the number of choices, which will refresh this page. Now I have all of the 70 species to choose from here. So as you get more confident in your identification abilities, you can make things harder by increasing this to all species, and then by not displaying the sound and photo list, and then eventually only identifying the species by their sound. Once you've made your selection, you can press select species, and it will tell you if you're correct. If you are not correct in your selection, for example, saying that this is a Cooper's hawk, it will tell you that you're incorrect and it will show you what the species that you have chosen looks like. If you need more help, you can display the photo and sound list until you get it correct. If you really don't know the answer, you can either press show answer if you're completely stumped or you can skip the question and you'll come back to it later. If you're done with the quiz, you can just press exit quiz and go back to studying your species more or changing up the list to study something different if that's what you're interested in doing. For example, if I wanted to filter based on song type to practice my birding by ear skills, I could press manage lists and then I can add the song type so I'll choose trillers and chippers. Now that I've added trillers and chippers, I'm going to change this nesting habitat to none, just so that more of the trillers and chippers are showing up on my list and I'm not narrowing it down too much. I'm also going to change this BCR 13 to none so that I'm looking at the trillers and chippers from all of Ontario. If you do want to narrow it down, then you can certainly add some of these filters. I'll press save and exit. 
And now it's saying that my list is filtered to Ontario, Trillers, and Chippers, and I'm excluding rare and non-breeding species. If you're interested in creating your own list of species that you find difficult, then you can register on the main page. I've already created an account, I'll sign in. Then if you go back and you press manage lists, then you can create a custom list here. I'll call it new list. And you can select the species that you want onto this list. Once I'm done with this list, I can press use this list now. It says this custom list is now active, so I'll press close. And now it's just my list of the five species that I put on my custom list. When you're logged in, you also have these preferences. I'm just going to leave it as it is, and I'm going to save and exit. If you want to go back to the main list, then you can change this load custom list to none. Save and exit. And we're back to Ontario BCR 13, excluding rare and non-breeding species. If you find a species that you want to add to that list, you can press add to my list and change it to, I'm changing it to new list. Press select. Okay. So as you're going through, if you find ones that are difficult that you want to add to that list, then you can just do it that way. This wraps up everything we're covering in this video. I hope that the video helps you make the most out of this incredible resource and that Dendroica helps you in your future birding and atlasing.